you've looked much more like you did early in the season. What what's the season been like for you, kind of the um, obviously, yeah, it started off strong, um, and then yeah, I kind of you know was going through a little bit, um, and I think that's common just for freshmen. You know, it's ups and downs, um, and then I think I just started kind of getting back in the gym or at night, you know, kind of doing what got me to play playing good at the beginning and stay a little bit more consistent with my game and just kind of get more confident, seeing what Jordan's doing on the floor when I come in, just be ready. Um, and I think that's helped out a lot, just make my game more simple. So. But, the way things are clicking right now for this team at, at both ends of the floor, where's the confidence level and, and what do you think it is that, that changed or, or flipped the switch, like they say, with this team? Um, I think it really just started in practice, it's just the way we started attacking practice more, um, especially on the defensive end. Um, Pre-practice, you know, getting up these shots that we, we take in games um, and then putting more work in um, outside of practice. I think we're just, you know, we're gelling right now. We're doing a good job. We have the right rotation. We can kind of find that, which helps out a lot. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just start starting practice. I think. David, Blake, what is the dynamic like between you and Jordan, and how you become kind of this tag team there in, in the post? And it was especially effective tonight. It seemed on Omir. Um, no, we've been we've been getting super close. Um, you know, I kind of looked up to him in the summertime. Uh, you know, he's a fifth year. He's got experience. Um, it's just kind of watching what he does, how he leads. Um, and just, you know, like at the start, like I was playing and he was still supporting me and then he started playing and I got to support him. I mean, he's been working his, he's working his butt off and I'm proud of him for the way he's come back and played. Um, so I think just, just the way we start in practice, you know, how we interact, you know, just the guys that we are, we're just close. So it helps out a lot. Yeah, Blake, what's, what's Tane, a veteran, given this team over the last four or five games as he's gotten more and more playing time? Um, you know, he just got to show what he can do. Um, he's a great player. He works hard. Um, I've gotten close with Tane. He's one of my closer teammates. Um, and he just puts in the, he just puts in the work, and he's just ready for his moment, you know. Coach needed him. He came in, and he's been playing well. So he's just taking advantage of his moment. Can you give me any advice when you were kind of going through your, your playing time lull? Um, you know, I think a lot of people did. You know, they told me just it's part of it, um, just to fight through, like, this is going to happen. It's not like it's not uncommon. You just got to keep your head up and keep pushing through. So, the, the way Reese has played during this win streak has been really impressive scoring, assists, defense, obviously. Um, what's it like seeing what he's doing? And um, how much does he give you guys also off the court in terms of, of leadership? I, mean, I, I look up to Reese a lot just for what he's done for this program and what he keeps doing. Um, you know, he's our veteran. He has a good chance to go play in the league next year and, and just seeing how he attacks things. His advice, you know, just how competitive he is, especially on the defensive end. Um, he's fun to watch. He's fun to be around. But just especially for, you know, he helps me out with the little things that I need. You know, if it's on defense, just little tips. Um, so just, you know, he knows when I need it. So it's it's nice to have him there. What makes this such a decided home court advantage? Um, I think a big part of it's the fans. Um, I mean, tonight was a wide out, obviously a really cool game, really cool atmosphere um, to be able to play here. Um, I just told the radio guys, I mean, it's one of the best venues I've played in in college basketball, and so I'm lucky and glad to be able to call it in your home court. Jake, once again, you come in and kind of give that spark. The team was really struggling offensively. Are you, are you cognizant of that when you come in, whether the team's on a run or whether they're, they're kind of struggling to get buckets? Mm. Um, I would say no. Um, you know, I'm kind of watching the flow of the game. Um, kind of getting my mind right before I get in there and, and just seeing what the pace looks like, how they're guarding us, um, and stuff stuff like that. I mean, and then when I go in, it's just all between the lines. I mean, I don't really don't really see what's going on or anything. I just I just play ball, and so some of that is, I guess, probably a good thing. But um, yeah, it's just something that you know I don't really recognize before I come in. Uh, in terms of the roles, the rotation. It, Obviously, it took a little while to find it, but how comfortable are guys right now in the roles you're all being asked to play? Yeah, um, I think right now we're obviously playing our best basketball of the year, which is which is awesome considering it's February. Um, and I think a lot of that is due to the rotation, the roles that, that guys have kind of stepped into and that guys are finding. Um, you know, we have uh, a really solid first five that, that, that gets us. Um, going on the right foot, and then we got guys off the bench who can come and contribute uh, big time. And so that was that was huge, especially in a game like tonight when 
Miami only plays six, seven guys who, who are you know, main contributors. And so I think we were just able to wear them out with, with our depth and, and, and the way we kind of guarded them. Just, just to piggyback off that, uh, Tane Murray is one of those guys in that rotation off the bench. What's he given you guys as, as he's played more and more the last four or five games? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the first thing is it just you have another shooter on the floor, which is always good. I mean, it opens the, the floor up for everybody, um, especially our guards trying to get in the lane. Um, that's huge. And then just how solid he's been on defense, um, how, you know, I think tonight he had four assists, which is, you know, really impressive. And so um, just obviously I think he's kind of accepted that role and stepping into it. And, and man, he's playing good ball. So it's, it's fun to see. I don't know how carefully you pay attention to sequences or not. Blake said he didn't remember it, but it stuck in my brain. Yeah. It was when Ryan blocked Wooga Poplar's shot at the rim in the first half, mm. got out on the break, and Tane threw him the, threw him the long outlet, and he finished at the rim yeah. left-handed. Uh -huh. Do you remember that sequence? Yeah. What was your vantage point? And do you think many forwards <laughs> make that play yeah. literally baseline to baseline? No, I don't think I was sitting on the bench, but I definitely do remember that play. Um, it kind of goes back to what I've said about Ryan Dunn before is, man, he makes several plays every game where I'm just fascin fascinated. And I'm like, man, this guy is um, incredible. So, you know, it's one of those things where being his teammate, I'm you know, you trying not to take the, that stuff for granted and, and just enjoy watching him while you can. Yeah, you said earlier you guys are playing your best basketball now, and that's obviously great because it's mm -hmm. February. How much do you credit that to maybe just the rotation coming together, or is there a mix of, of just knowing that uh, when this win streak started a couple weeks ago, you guys were playing a little bit more for yeah. for a bid? I think it's a combination uh, of both of them a little bit. Um, I think you know us fixing the rotation and guys kind of accepting those roles and, and jumping into them is, is the reason behind the win streak. Um, and then you start stringing one, two, three, four games together, and uh, you know, it, it's crazy how a team's confidence can change. Um, and so I think we're a very, very confident group right now, which is which is great. And, and you know, I think as Coach Bennett would say, you just got to keep getting better every single day.